Hi, my love, beautiful souls. It's Mystic Rules 1111. I'm back with you. Bring your dark into the light. Please take what resonates and leave it does not. Somebody else collect number ring. Okay, so I'm going to pull some energy, uh, past loved one energy, and I'm going to pull uh, past loved, loved one energy of connecting with a sibling, a brother or sister that has passed, okay? If you lost somebody, a brother or sister, or somebody to suicide, okay? The reason I'm pulling this is I did read a comment. Uh, somebody really wanted uh, to communicate with a loved one and wanted them to know that they're okay and that energy came out i i they connected with me okay this this energy connected with me after reading that comment uh so if you are somebody that has lost somebody from suicide or an accident i i was it was suicide i was pulling more suicide hearing suicide um they want me to let you know that they were not able to be okay here on this this realm okay they weren't okay they were not okay here, okay? They did not feel comfortable. They did not like what was going on in their life. They did not want to stay here anymore, okay? Um, they did not They did not think this place was their place, okay? They felt a strong disconnection with Earth, and they wanted to go back home to Source, okay? Some of, you guys will, some of you guys will think that if you commit suicide, you can't go to heaven. Some will say that you go to hell. Um, I'm not going to be the one that's going to tell you if you can go to heaven or hell because I've never been there. I've not experienced that. So I will not come on here and say if you commit suicide, you can't go to heaven, you can't go to hell, or you can't go to heaven and you only go to hell, okay? All I can say is this 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 past loved one, um, it could be some of you guys, past loved ones that have, you know, taken their own life or have died from suicide um they feel like they're in a better place now okay they they they're they're at home where they need to be okay wherever they they have gone they are meant to be okay um they they just could not do it here okay they could not live on this plane anymore this plane was not for them um they were unable to ascend okay they 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 didn't want to ascend um they knew that their time was ready or was time to go and so they left okay um, what else I was hearing is that they know that you love them, okay? They know that you love them, that this this loved one loves you back, okay? And they know that you had things going on in your life that you were busy with, that, you know, you had your own life, you had your own things, your own troubles, your own struggles, hardships, and stuff like that. They're not holding it against you, okay? They love you, they care for you, and they're guiding you, okay? They are with you, okay? I am not pulling a dark, dark spirit here. Um, in this energy, I'm, I'm pulling that, you know, a, a spirit that is free, okay? They're free. They're they're not living, they don't have to live in this 3D world of being programmed and conditioned in how society is now. They are freed. They have trans, They have transitioned to where they need to go, okay? Grim Reaper, I just heard the Grim Reaper has guided them to where they had to go, okay? I they're in a better place, okay, that's all I can say is they're in a better place, um, some of you guys are like, well, why won't you say heaven, why won't you say hell, because I'm not going to come out here and say they're in heaven or they're in hell, because I cannot tell you that, okay, um, all I can tell you is that they, they, they're in a better place for themselves, and they are freed, and they're not in pain, and they're not, they don't feel, con um, they don't feel, um, stuck trapped anymore okay they don't feel like that they, they have to um be a certain way or live a certain way and they, they're not they don't have mental health anymore okay issues okay so this person that has passed away from suicide um it could uh, it could be an accident too but your past loved one that committed suicide somebody committed suicide um they had a lot of mental issues that they were unable to um clear away negative energies um they could not get out of their mind okay the the, the devil was holding them back okay they were in bondage they were they were in, they had a lot of trauma and so i am supposed to tell you that they do love you they are with you they they do not hold anything against you okay there's no hate where they're at there's no there's no regret there's no um it they're okay okay they they're okay okay and they know that you love them they know that you miss them they love you they miss you back Okay. Uh, I'm all with the person that commented too. It's really hard for you to let go. They want you to let go because letting go will allow you to heal and move forward. Um, don't hold on to that them. Okay, because they they're always gonna be with you. Okay, it's okay to let go. They said. Okay, it's okay to let go because they're always with you in spirit. Okay, 
you, you, something will remind you of them, okay? When something reminds you of them, if you see a picture, their favorite color, their favorite um, what, uh, visual ante or like, you know what I mean, like cartoon, TV show, there'll be something that will remind you of them, okay? That is them with you, okay? If you get this flashback of something, that's them with you, okay? Especially if you were growing up with this person and this person had like a favorite color or a favorite TV show, or a favorite cartoon, you know what I mean, character, and you see that, that's them, okay? They're with you at all times, okay? I'm even hearing their favorite food, okay? Some There's someone that liked certain foods, okay? Their favorite thing, and you, you end up eating that, or you see it a lot, that's them. Or you're seeing their name all the time, okay? Your past loved one, if you're seeing their name all the time, um, wherever you go, if it's on TV, if it's in a book, if it's... um at a store, whatever, um, or you're hearing somebody talk about this name or this person's name, that's them, okay? They're with you. They're with you. Do not hold on to um, regret, okay? They don't want you to live in regret, okay? They don't, they want you to forgive yourself. They want you to forgive them, okay? Um, they've already forgiven themselves. They've already forgiven you. And they know that we have busy lives. You have busy lives, okay? That you have things going on. It's just something they could not take care of. They couldn't handle, okay? They couldn't do it. So this 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 energy is that they had a lot of psychological issues, a lot of mental health issues, and they did not know how to control it. They did not know how to get the help, okay? They did not know how to get the help. And it, what I'm hearing is if you need help, assistance, they want you to reach out to a therapist or to a friend or to somebody that is grieving or similar, you know, similarities, um, your soul tribe, reach out, okay? It's okay to ask for help. They did not ask for help, okay? They didn't know where to go for help. They didn't know where to even... They didn't know how to ask, okay? They didn't know how to ask. They were stubborn, okay? I just heard they were stubborn. Um, do not... They don't want you to be stubborn, okay? If you need help, ask for help. And they were too stubborn to ask God for help, okay? I just heard that. They were too stubborn to ask God for help. So this past loved one, that when they... When they took their life when they left they were too stubborn to ask god for help okay so they're what they're telling me is ask god for help ask god to guide you ask god to heal you ask god for protection ask god to forgive you for your sins okay um because that's something that they did not do okay and if they would have done that before passing over transitioning they may be here still okay but they were they they were unable to they didn't have any faith okay they want you to have faith they want you to trust and God, okay? Find the light at the end of the tunnel, I just heard. Finding the light at the end of the tunnel. You wanted a closure, okay? 5-5 five, five on the clock, or 5-5-5 five, five, five on the clock right now. 5-5-5 five, five, five is extreme change. Um, big change happening, okay? They see that you're changing. You are ready for your next part of your journey, I just heard, okay? You are ready for this next part of your journey, okay? You are ready to... Um, shift timelines as well, okay, to heal, to ascend. They were unable to raise their consciousness, okay, awaken their consciousness. They were too stuck in the 3D material world, okay. They had too much karmic debt, I'm hearing, okay, too much karmic debt. This is your confirmation, okay. This is your confirmation. They love you. Okay. They know that um, you would have been there if you could have been there. Okay. What else? What else is going on from this past loved one? Okay. That committed suicide. Someone thought it could have been an accident or murder, but it was committed suicide. You lost them fast, okay? This was unexpected, okay? This per the energy I'm getting is like you lost they lost they you lost them fast. Like it was you didn't see this coming. Somebody didn't see this coming. They want you to keep an open mind, stay positive, okay? Keep an open mind, stay positive, okay? They let the negativity get to them. Okay, they let fear get to them. They let the three world three D world get to them. Let go, let God in. Okay, they let the three D world get to them.
They want you to spend time with family. Okay, spend time with family. Okay, the family. They may you may have some family. Spend time with your family or your close friends. Okay, I just heard that I don't hear them saying that they're going went to heaven. I'm hearing that they just went back to home, okay, to source, okay? Um, they're just in the afterlife, okay? They're waiting to be reincarnated, okay? I just heard they're waiting to be reincarnated. They have not been reincarnated. They're proud of you, okay? They're waiting to be reincarnated, okay? Um, because they didn't learn the lessons this time, so they have to do it over again, okay? They have to do it over again. So they're, they, they're not... They're not in the heavens, okay? Um, they're in the ethers in the uh, afterlife, just waiting to be reincarnated, to come here again and uh, do the lessons again, okay? They have they have to really, they have to come to Earth again and um, live again to repeat some of the cycles and stuff to see if they learn from them because they couldn't do it this life, so they'll be reincarnated again. They're choosing, they're choosing to be reincarnated, okay? Release what is not needed anymore. You want more chicken? Okay, just a minute. Release what is not needed anymore, okay? They want you to release what's not needed anymore, okay? And they want you to cleanse, ti cleansing time, spiritual bath, sage, and organize, okay? Cleanse. I gotta pause this. I gotta go help her. Hold on. Okay. I heard somebody like Kool-Aid, okay? I just heard Kool-Aid, and I heard the color red, okay? I heard the color red and Kool-Aid. I heard chicken as well. Okay, someone may like chicken. Someone was playing video game, could play video games, board games. Okay, a lot of video games, Nintendo. Okay. Um, let's see, let's pull some of this. Okay, what else does this past level want you to know? This isn't going to be a long one. You guys may have not gotten along, okay? I'm hearing you guys may have not gotten along a lot, okay? There can be a lot of fights, arguments. They loved you. You loved them. There's unconditional love there. Wow. Stubborn, like I said, ram. Stubborn, aggressive person. See, broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to problems. They, they cannot fix their problems, okay? They they cannot fix them. They cannot let go of them. They had too many problems that they didn't want to deal with, okay? This person did not want to deal with their problems. They didn't want to deal with life anymore. Life was too hard for them, okay? Life was too hard here on Earth for them. Way too hard. It was too difficult. They didn't, they didn't know how to live, okay? They didn't know how to deal with this 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 world okay this world was not they felt like this world wasn't that for them okay an emotional secure loving family is important to you okay you have a loving family or your family is very important to you or you want family very important to you it could be very emotional angel spiritual guidance protection from harm okay they're your angel Okay, they're an angel. Psychic abilities, trust your intuition, okay? They want you to start trusting your intuition, okay? Third eye, open your third eye up. Trust that intuition. Somebody's gossiping, talking, parrot. Okay, there could be gossiping. A wish is granted. Wishbone. Okay, you felt like you want to communicate because you may not be able to communicate with the dead, okay? You just kind of wanted a confirmation for this. They've been trying to communicate, okay? I'm also hearing them been trying to communicate, okay? Again, that's through music, um, signs, messages, okay? Like that. Pay attention to things around you. Okay, broken ring, parting ways. Okay, this is parting ways. It's time to let go. Okay, it's time to let go. Something about broken promises, too, okay? This person made a lot of broken promises.
No one thought they would do this, okay? Self-delusion, okay? So this person had some delusion, okay? This person that passed away, they, they had a lot of psychological issues, okay? Um, they, they could have been schizophrenia. They could have had um, severe mental health issues, okay? Uh, could have been split personality, borderline personality as well. They didn't, they didn't have their mental health under control. There could have been some kind of addiction too. Or severe trauma. Okay, yep, feathers. Ancestor spirit guides again, okay, are guiding you. Feathers are significant. So pay attention to feathers. Dealing with a relationship with a with a man. Okay, so this is a man. This could be a man that has passed over. That had committed suicide. Okay, I'm hearing they were in limbo for a very long time. Okay, they were in limbo. But again, they're at peace now. Okay. They're not living in hell like they were before, okay? Living in hell, when they were here in the earth realm, in this world, they were living in hell. They're not living in hell, okay? They're not living in hell. Okay, we have a dark woman coming out, okay? Dealing with a relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. You can have dark hair. Someone has dark hair. You've been thinking about them a lot. When you start thinking about them, it means that they're with you too, okay? So if all of a sudden you just start thinking about this past loved one, um, thinking about brother, sister, or sibling, because I, I heard sibling, okay? Um, but it could be any past loved one, because energy is energy. Um, when you're thinking about them, that means they're with you, okay? If all of a sudden, just out of the blue, you just start thinking of this person, it's because they're with you. They're, they're giving you a nudge, okay? They're letting you know, hey, you're thinking about me because I'm with you. I'm guiding you. I'm here protecting you. I'm not going anywhere. I think I kind of want to just leave the reading at that right now, you guys. I didn't really want to, like... We'll grab a couple minutes. You guys are separated, okay? You guys didn't. You guys weren't getting along. Somebody wasn't getting along. Okay, you guys didn't hung, hang out a lot, okay? Avoiding. See, somebody was avoiding. You guys avoided each other, or he was, he or she was avoiding. They were confused, okay? They were really confused. They were living in the darkness, okay? They were living in pure darkness. They didn't want to live in darkness anymore. They were unable to take care of themselves. They're unable to let go of their pain. Undecisible. See, negativity, anxiety, that too much anxiety, minute negativity. Couldn't sleep. They're unbalanced. These are all inverted, you guys. These are all inverting, inverted. They're unable to move on. Things were going really slow in their life, okay? Things were not, like, they were not able to communicate. They didn't know how to communicate. They didn't know who to communicate with. They didn't know who to talk to. And what they, they're they trying, they want you to know is to communicate with God, okay? Communicate with Jesus, you know, ask for Jesus to help you, okay? Ask God for help, assistance, or finding someone, okay? They didn't know that. They didn't know who to talk to. You could be going through awakening. I haven't even shoveled these out yet. They just fell out. If you're going through awakening... Letting go. They're stressed out, overworked, imbalanced. Like I said, imbalanced. They want you to nurture yourself, put yourself first. Okay, stop worrying about them. Stop thinking about them like that, okay? Um, they want you to put yourself first. They don't want you to overwork yourself. They don't want you stressed out, okay, like they did. I just keep hearing nurture yourself, put yourself first. They did not put themselves first. They didn't put their health first, their mental health first. Okay. 
Let's close this out. This person didn't have a lot of friends or they had a lot of friends that were, if they had a lot of friends, they weren't real friends, okay? Or they didn't have a lot of friends, they were outcasted, they were out like an outsider. Or if they did have a lot of friends, um, their friends were not kind to them, okay? It was all fake and phonies. Something happened to him too, it caused a lot of trauma, okay? Something about abuse, some, some kind of abuse, this person, okay, that committed suicide, there's some kind of abuse. They went through. They just couldn't handle it anymore. The devil was controlling them. Okay, I just heard the devil controlled them. They took their life because of the devil. Because they didn't believe in God. Okay, they didn't believe in God. So the devil was able to take their soul, take them away. Citrine. Unnecessary worries. Okay, they don't want you to worry. Release the burden of worries by giving them to God for healing and solutions. Citrine. Okay, I do have citrine in my shop, you guys. Um, so citrine will really help with that. A citrine anklet in my shop. Okay, I don't think I have any more. I might have a... Oh, I do have a citrine anklet and a bracelet, okay? This will help give away worries, okay? Stress and give it to God. I said, let go, let God in, okay? We also have titanium rainbow quartz, multifaceted. There are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person you're asking about. That's what I was saying is like, I, can, I will not, I, I can't get on here and tell you that yes, they're in heaven or yes, they're in hell. All I can tell you that is they are freed now. They feel better. They're, they're peace right now. Whatever's going on, they're waiting to be reincarnated, okay? That they were going back home with source, um, one thing I can tell you what my perspective of this is, is when we leave um, this plane, this earth realm, my perspective, okay? I do not know if this is, I do not know if this is real. I don't know because I don't remember leaving. I know I've been gone before and came back here, but when we are born, okay, when we're born into the earth or to this realm, we have amnesia. We forget, okay, who we are, where we come from. As we um, grow and evolve, we end up awakening, okay, to our past lives. But when we leave again, when we leave and leave this, this world, we transition and we forget we have amnesia again, okay? And then when we incarnate and we have amnesia again, we have to go through all these lessons again and repeat them. We can repeat cycles over. One thing that I, what I'm hearing from spirit is what I'm taking of this is the fact that when, if I die today, Okay, this is what I'm going to say. If I die today, I know I'm going to heaven because I believe in God. Okay, because I worship God, because I am obedient to God. And not just that, because my mindset is a positive mindset. My mind is in a good place. Okay, I have healed and I continue healing. Okay, I'm not allowing the devil to control my life anymore. I'm not living in bondage and greed and power and low frequencies, vibration of fear and anxiety, okay? So if I left right this moment of what my understanding of leaving this, this realm right now is I would be going to the heavens, okay? Because I have a I, my state of conscious mind, okay? My mind is in the heavens, okay? I believe in God. I trust in God. I'm at peace with who I am and that I'm at peace of death. Like I'm not afraid of death. I do not live in fear, Okay, but say I died today and I didn't believe in God and I was still living in fear and anxiety and stress and depression and making wrong choices, lying, stealing, and cheating. If that was me right at this moment and I died, I don't believe I would be going to heaven. I believe that I would be going to hell. I'd be living in hell in a state of conscious mind or I'd be in limbo, oblivion, limbo or oblivion, waiting to transition or trying to figure out where I'm going next, okay? Where, what I'm gonna do next. Am I gonna be reincarnated to come back to this earthly realm and repeat the cycles over and over? So that's why I wanna say is like, this person, when they left this plane that committed suicide, what I'm hearing, what they're telling me is that they did not leave this realm 
with a peaceful mind and believing God, okay? And having that heaven conscious state of mind, okay? Of positive healing blessing, okay? So they're in, they're in limbo, oblivion, um, in between possibly, you know, they were living in hell before they passed. And so they're connected, but I cannot say if they're really in hell or heaven, okay? And no one will ever really know. We cannot get on here and say no one will ever will know. And I'm, I'm not trying to confuse anybody. I'm not trying to um, hurt anybody or upset anybody or put out false stuff. And I just want to get on here and say, yes, they're in heaven right now. Yes, they're in heaven. Because we can't, like, I don't want to get on here and just say everyone dies, they go to heaven. Because I don't believe that everyone, when they die, they go to heaven. I don't believe that. Okay? I don't believe that everyone, when they die, they go to heaven. I believe that there is heaven. I believe there's oblivion. I believe there's limbo. And I believe there's hell. And I believe when we die, it's about what state of conscious mind we are. And where we're at. This person this person that committed suicide, I, I feel like what I'm hearing is that they were living in hell. Okay? But do I... What, what I'm hearing is I'm not hearing that they're, they're burning in hell right now. Okay? I'm not hearing that. I'm not hearing that they're over on the other side burning in hell. What I'm hearing is that they're over on the other side. They're in peace right now. And they're, they're waiting to be reincarnated. Okay, because now they're freed of this earthly realm. Okay, they're free of this earthly realm. So in the afterlife, they're waiting to reincarnate so they can repeat these cycles or go through these lessons again. I hope that makes sense. I hope that helps. And if anyone really knows, then comment, okay? Comment. And that's why right here, when this card... What? Probably because he eats so much chicken. When this card comes out, it says mostly oh fascinated. No, I eat one chicken and chicken. Okay, just a minute. Just a minute, honey. I'm about to eat these. Okay, good. When it says multi fascinated. Okay, there are many layers and dimensions to this situation or person you're asking about. That's what I'm saying. Okay, and I don't want to get on here and just lie to you guys, okay? And because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here to lie. I'm, I'm here to speak truth and church knocking sorry, things over. Sorry. It's okay. I'm you know. My so and I. Okay, I truly will never know. Okay, and uh, yes, I connect with Source Creator God, and but everyone's purpose, life, and in the afterlife is different. But if this person committed suicide, I, I what I'm being told by spirit and the feeling that I have is this person's not living in heaven. Okay, they're not living in heaven. They're not in pure bliss, but they're not in pain. They're not suffering. They're they're not they're not. They're freed, okay? And they're going to be able to make a choice to be reincarnated again. Because I bet you anybody on here, I bet you anyone that gets past life or past, per, does channelings or readings with um, past loved ones, they're going to tell you that, oh yeah, everyone's, you know, they went to the heavens, they went to the heavens, they went to the heavens. They're in heaven. It's a lie. It's a lie. You guys have different perspectives and different opinions of things too. And when, honestly, to be honest, no one will ever really know. No one will ever know. But if you believe in God and you die and you believe in God, you sure are going home to heaven. Okay? That's one thing that I do know. If you die believing God, if you believe, die believing God and being faithful to God and ask God for your for sins, then you're going home to the heavens. You're going home to the heavens, okay? 12. Strive to be the best you can be. It's confident in self. Confident in yourself. Let me get one more. 14, 14. Time to build a solid foundation for your future and it's time to take action, focus on desires and needs, inner fulfillment and spiritual growth. I really hope this message helps you guys. I really, really do. I'm not going to do any um, zodiac sign. Oh, do zodiac sign. Zodiac could be their zodiac sign or your zodiac sign. Virgo, Cancer, Capricorn, Pisces, and number 10. Okay. I hope that helps. And if you want to reach out to someone else, you can reach out to someone else. You can go get a personal reading and stuff like that too with somebody else. You can go reach out to another psychic medium if you want to see what they say. But honestly, if every psychic medium and every reader goes on here and says that everyone goes to heaven, then they're, they're lying. Okay? okay, not everyone goes to heaven. Not everyone goes to heaven. If everyone, it, okay, This is the thing I'm supposed to say too. If everyone goes to heaven when they die, 
then no one would start believing God. No one would start having faith. No one would start trusting. So everyone would just be like, okay, well, I'm going to heaven no matter what. So they'll commit sins and all this other stuff. They'll do whatever they want to do. And they'll think that it can be bad, evil, wicked people and continue to commit sins and be cruel and mean and they'll still get to go to heaven. So that's not the case. Not everyone gets to go to heaven. Not everyone will go to heaven. Not everyone's going to go to the, to the heavens, okay? I hope this helps. I really do. I love you guys. Love, peace, light, heal, namaste.